sprinkles. How was the party, Sally? It was all right. Did the kid get some nice presents? What presents? Did he or she get some nice presents? What do you mean, he or she? The birthday person. Was it a boy or a girl? Of course it was. Anyway, I don't even know where I was. Are you telling me it was somebody's birthday party? Of course. Did the boy or girl like your present? I didn't give them any presents. Why should I give them presents? Well, you knew it was a birthday party, didn't you? After I ate the cake, I knew it was a party.
My name is Linus. I was skating by and... Oh, hello! Are you from the neighborhood? My name is Mimi. I'm happy to meet you. I live down the street. I couldn't help hearing your song. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm here visiting my grandmother for a few days. I'm happy to meet you. I love flowers, and I love to garden. Except... I can't seem to move this big wheelbarrow. Can I help you? Oh, would you please? <coughs> Whoa! Thank you. That's just where I needed it. Tying the hollyhocks and foxgloves to the fence. They're getting so tall. And it's really windy. My grandmother says that she's had hollyhocks in her garden since she was a little girl. And they always make her feel at home. Did you know that they came all the way from China? I love foxgloves too. When I was little, my grandmother told me they were fairy gloves. And I used to stick my fingers in the flowers. Now I love them because hummingbirds, they're always around them. Did you know they used to make a heart medicine out of them? It was called Digitalis. My grandmother took it after she got very sick. And now she's well again. Tomorrow, if it's sunny, I'll collect the rose hips and lavender for her. I've heard of roses, but I didn't know that they had hips. Oh, they're hard little pods that are left after the petals fall off. Why would your grandmother want that? Well, it makes good tea. And the lavender we put in little sachets, or we put them in our potpourri. Popo what? Potpourri. It's just a bowl full of rose petals and other nice smelling things. We keep them by the windows, and they make the whole room smell like a garden. I don't know anything about flowers. Do you have a favorite kind? I think I like pansies best, because they look like little faces. Ever since I can remember, flowers have been like dear friends to me. What a desolate place the world would be without flowers. There's a wonderful Chinese proverb that says, He who plants a garden plants happiness. Or she... I was just coming home from a birthday party. Oh, I just love birthday parties. Well, I'm having one of my own in a couple of days. Would you like to come? I'd love to.
Yesterday, Charlie Brown. Yesterday what? Yesterday I heard the most beautiful girl. You heard a beautiful girl? Well, I saw her. I mean, I heard and saw her. I met her. She was singing, and I heard her, and then I met her. I can't get her out of my mind. I keep hearing her singing. Linus, Miss Othmar is calling on you. Yes, ma'am? Hey, what are you doing up in the middle of the night? Do you hear the music? I keep hearing Mimi sing. Oh, brother. These are the kids I've invited to my birthday party. Who's Mimi? She's the little girl with the beautiful voice. I tried to tell you about her. You're inviting a total stranger to your birthday party? Are you out of your mind? I am out of my mind. I keep hearing her voice. She'll never come. I know she'll come. I know she'll come. What's this? What does RISVUP mean? That's RSVP. It means you've been invited to Linus's birthday party. I'm invited too. RISVUP. What's RISVUP got to do with it? It's not RISVUP. It's Répondez s'il vous plaît. It's a French acronym meaning reply if you please. You're supposed to tell him whether or not you're going. Hello? Rizvup, I got a birthday invitation for my sweet Babu. You mean my stupid brother. He's really counting on a spectacular birthday party. He's even invited some strange girl he just met. I suppose we have to go buy him a present and some things for the party. and some paper plates, and some paper cups, and lots of soft drinks. And a cake. Why don't we get a nice angel food cake and decorate it ourselves?
Hello, Patty. Hi, Shermy. Thank you. Welcome, Pigpen. Thank you for coming. Here, Linus, I brought you a small token of our friendship on this, the date of your birth. I know it's in here someplace. Aha! Here, let me brush off some of the lint for you. There. Thank you. Hi, Charlie Brown. Thanks for coming. Hi, Sally. Rizva. Where's your girlfriend? What if she doesn't come? She'll come. She likes birthday parties. She'll come. Have you seen her since you invited her to your party? You should have heard her sing. She'll be here. She promised. I certainly hope she shows up. Oh, she will. She's going to sing for me. I can hardly wait. She'll be here soon. I didn't meet your friend Mimi, Linus. It was wonderful, Charlie Brown. She even sang for me. She kissed me on the forehead and gave me a flower. And then she left. Wonder if I'll ever hear that music again, Charlie Brown. <laughs> 